Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I served a two-year mission in Montana. You said you're a return missionary, so you just returned as a missionary. Yeah, I, I got home like two weeks ago. I'm oh, fresh so off. You were on the field for two years? Yep. And I know that's mandatory for Mormons. Is that your world? You guys don't use the term Mormon, but that we're used to saying Mormons, so don't take it personally. It's not a, it's not a saving ordinance or anything like that. Um, it is highly encouraged. It is a priesthood responsibility, and we encourage all young men who are worthy and able. What must you do to attain godhood? To attain godhood? Well, or that is God eventually through the, no. through the through the gospel of Jesus Christ to become more like Jesus Christ is. No, but that's not what um, I'm asking you. You do believe you're going to be? You can be a god. Right? I do believe in a divine potential. Yeah, so you yeah. can be a god, right? Yeah. And will you have a wife if? You pass the test and she passed the test. You're going to have a wife, one or a couple. How many do you have eventually? Just so we can get an idea of what you would believe your ultimate destiny is. Probably I would prefer one. One's enough. If you do attain that level, will you be able to have children that you send them into a planet? Will you have a planet of your own? I mean, give us an idea. We want to know what it is. I, there's no official doctrine on the scale of how everything okay. works. I don't know if you're talking planetary or universe or I don't know. I yeah, don't I don't know. know. You have your own universe mm -hmm. or whatever it is. What, what, in other words, when you attain, let's say you successfully attain divinity, you become a god. You're going to have your own universe or a planet. What is it? I mean, give us an idea of the landscape. I'm not doctrine on it. I'm not sure. Um, but I do know is that God's intentions is for us to become more like him, to participate in his divine nature. And when you say God, the father, you, was he a man with a body of flesh? He is a man. He has a body of flesh. So that. So that's actually kind of what I, my questions were about is the nature of yeah, we'll God. Get to that, so, but that's what I'm so people so, know that Mormonism or whatever you believe in is not even in the ballpark of Christianity. But we'll get to what I'm saying. I just want to know who was his God, though, if he was a man. He's Heavenly Father. Who was his God? Because he's not the original God, right? Because he, he was a man, right? So, so someone brought him into him. being. He, so is God for you not? He doesn't have a body of flesh and bone. Then. Yeah, I'm, I want to know because he was a man, so he wasn't always God. So if he was a man, he was brought into being, right? Possibly. That is, so that he's is always existed as a man? That is an esoteric thought. No, that is. is an idea. No, because if he's a man, either he's an uncreated eternal man, or if he's a man, he came into being. So that means someone brought him to me. It's not esoteric. It's just the logical inference of your position. So I'm trying to figure it out. So he's not the original I mean, God, right? There's no like, there's not like a... There's not like a, you know, little checkbox when I, you know, go. Yeah, for can you stop with the checkboxes? Because maybe. this checkbox is getting kind of old. Stick to the point. Checkbox. Check, check. That's the second time you said it. I want to know if he's a man. Was he always a man or he came into being? Because men come into being. So did your God come into being because he was a man or he's always been a man? It is very possible. Very possible. So you guys do not know his origins? Not necessarily. How many wives does he have? Because I want people, because a lot of people don't know what your church teaches. That's why I'm asking these questions. So how many wives I'm does he have? Unknown. Nobody okay. would know that question. So, but you, he does at least have one wife, right? I would say, yeah, that we believe in a heavenly mother. Yeah. And we don't, we don't go into super big detail about. Well, as Christians, we want to know what you believe. Now he got her pregnant, right? Because his first child was Yahweh, Jehovah. There's no, there's no official doctrine as to how spirit children are created. Oh, so is that heavenly mother, Yahweh's mother too? Uh, well, no, actually, because well, in the, that's actually more complicated. You would agree that Mary is, not to some extent, but she is part of the motherhood of Jesus Christ, right? Because we believe Christ became flesh from her, yes? But he doesn't yeah. have a mother before creation. So in the sense of his physical body, Mary is his mother. Maybe. Yeah, but who's the, the mother of Yahweh? I'm not asking about Jesus incarnate because that's the mother of Christ because he took his humanity from her. I'm talking about Yahweh because to you, from my understanding, that's why I'm asking. Elohim, the Father, and you have Yahweh, or Jehovah, the Son, and he becomes Jesus. So Yahweh, Jehovah, before he came to the world in the flesh, does he have a mother? I I actually don't have any official church teaching on that. Okay, I, okay. I actually, that, that, I, I'm going to play fair with you. If I don't know an answer, that might That's be something right. that I have to I go and respect you a lot you. more. I respect you a lot more when you just tell me you don't know. I'm not here trying to judge because I want people to understand where you're coming from. So when you ask me questions, they'll have a context. Because when Muslims ask me, they have a particular context. And I'm sure if I ask people in the comment section, were you aware of these beliefs about the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints? Many of them don't know. So God the Father is a man. He's God. He has a body of flesh. He has a wife, at least one. And Yahweh, or you prefer to say Jehovah, I don't know. He then becomes Jesus Christ. He's the one who becomes Jesus. And you do believe that Lucifer is his brother? Not in the literal sense. The spiritual sense. Right? We're all, cause... Yeah, because because Heavenly Father is the creator of all things. So, so Jesus Christ in spirit is a creation of him. 
But we also know that Jesus you, Christ you created that, the heavens and the earth and everything around it through yeah. Heavenly Father. So, do you, do you get that from the Book of Mormon that Jesus Christ or Yahweh, who becomes Jesus, was created? From the Book of Mormon, I, I, I thought that was the the Bible. No, I'm not. Mistaken. Can you show me in the Bible where it says that Jesus Christ is Yahweh's created? I might not have it off the top of my head. That's fine because it's not there. That's not what the Bible teaches. But that's I'll let, let you try to find the passage. So the definition of the Trinity, can you give a solid definition? Before within... we go to the definition, I'm waiting for you to show me where it says Jesus is created by the Father. Because I, I have an article in the Book of Mormon. Book of Mormon doesn't even teach what Joseph Smith later taught, but that's we'll get into that. My question is, you said that the Father created Jesus, who in his premium existence was Yahweh. So I'm waiting for that. Can you show me that from the King? Because by the way, they go with the King James Bible, right? That's what, that's the translation you prefer, correct? Yep. So yeah, where does it say that the Father created Jesus? And it's pre and existence. We're not talking about him as a as a man who became flesh. Um, it says first Colossians, and this is my understanding. Yeah. You're welcome it's to have a different Colossians. interpretation. Before you go on, it's not first Colossians, it's Colossians 1 15. I know what you're quoting. It says who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn, but it says, For him by all things were all things created who's and are him? in heaven and earth. Who's him? You skipped over it. You went too fast. Who? By him? Who's him? Who created it? Jesus Christ. Okay, so I want you to understand how you're going to end up refuting yourself. I'm going to bring it on the screen for everyone to see. So we're going to use the King James Version because that's the translation you prefer. It says, and he is the head of the body, the church, who is the Hold beginning, on, the firstborn, the firstborn from the dead. Person, if you talk over me, head. then that means you're here to debate me, and it's not going to bode well for you. Don't try to debate me. You're too young to debate well, me. Well, I was, I was reading through the whole thing, and I got I felt like I got Let's go through slowly how it buries your objection because you don't understand what firstborn means. It was the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created. Is there anything excluded in creation that Jesus didn't make? All things means all creation, right? Yeah. You sure? Listen to yourself carefully. By him all things. That's every created thing, right? So for by him all, were all things created that are in heaven, that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities, or powers, all things were created by him and for him, and he is before all things. You notice it's a present tense, right? Right, Carson? Yes, yeah, so this, is referring, this is referring to yes. Jesus Christ, correct? Yes, and by him all things consist. So if Christ created every created thing, and he is before every created thing, and he sustains every created thing, that means he exists before all creation, correct? Logically, follow the logic. If he created all things, and he is before all things, then he's not part of the all things, he exists before all things. That means he's not is part he... of creation. Did he create Heavenly Father or anybody else like that? Who, or said, are... who said the Father is part of creation? Listen to my argument. If he created all things, which is all creation, the Father is not creation, the Spirit is not creation. You went to this verse. That means he is not part of all creation because he exists before all creation, correct? Read it. It's right there. Yeah, but yes, but my question is, is that so with with the Trinity, there's what you call concepts, cons. The concepts, um, yeah, but yeah. before we get to the definition, I want you to show me how this passage proves your assertion, but you didn't answer the question. I'm going to ask it again, young man. If it says he created all things and he is before all things and he sustains all things, all things are every created thing. That means he exists before all creation, right? So, so but our interpretation, you still didn't interpretation answer the question. our inter well, I am answering the question. You answer the question, go ahead. Our interpretation of the scripture is that he is the literal son of the father and that by him he created, he created everything. So, yes, he Carson. does predate all of creation, Okay, Carson, but he you. is the son. I'm asking you about the text, not your view. So you do follow. No, I'm interpreting my view of the text. Let me ask you a final time before I send you packing. The text in front of you, deal with the text. If I bring a Muslim or an atheist, they can tell me what the text means. They can say, well, yeah, the text says this, unless you're that brainwash, which I hope you're not. If I bring an atheist and I say, can you tell me what the text in front of your eyes are saying? Can you do that for me? Do you agree that this text in front of you, in front of you, is saying that he exists before all creation. Yes, but I was, I okay, was no, don't give me a point. why, and I, am I allowed to break no, down? No, you're not allowed if you don't let me finish the point and you start barking. Okay, so I'm if not, he's before I'm, all I'm creation, to... is he uncreated? If he's before all creation, then he's uncreated, right? He, I don't think those two things are equal to each That's other. That's why you waste I don't see them. Either. Logically, yeah. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I wanted you to hear how blasphemous this religion is. God is a man, he's got a body of flesh, his fake God, who's Satan, Lucifer, has a wife, and his fake God supposedly created Jehovah, who's Jesus.